of God. Would you grab your swords, please? And turn to Jude 14. Now Enoch, the seventh from Adam, prophesied about these men also, saying, Behold, the Lord comes with ten thousands of his saints to do what? To execute judgment on all, to convict all who are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds, which they have committed in an ungodly way, and of all the harsh things which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. Do you understand that that is in progress now? That is in what? Progress now. It's happening. Sometimes it doesn't happen the way we want it to happen or as fast as we want it to happen, but it is happening. Arrests are being done. It's already started in the military. Once the military is cleaned up, everything else will begin to expand. And judgment will come upon the world. Now remember, judgment's in the house of God first. Amen? So he's saying, get your in order. Get your house in order. Amen? Hallelujah. In verse 16, he said, these are grumblers and complainers, walking according to their own lusts. And they mouth great swelling words, flattering people to gain advantage. But you, beloved, remember the words which were spoken before by the pro apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ and how they told you that there would be mockers in the last time or the last days who would walk according to their own ungodly lusts and desires. These are sensual persons who cause divisions, not having the Spirit. In other words, they're not filled with the Spirit. They're not having relationship in the Spirit. They call themselves Christians. But they're not really filled with the Spirit of God. They can speak in tongues and still not be filled with the Spirit of God. The gifts are without reproach. Verse 20, let's speak it. But you, beloved, building yourselves up on your most holy faith. Now, grab hold of something with most holy faith. There are three chambers in a the tabernacle. There's the outer court, holy place, and most holy place. This is third chamber faith. This is called power of faith. It's called what? Power of faith. Building yourselves up on your most holy faith. This is third chamber faith. Praying in what? The Holy Spirit or known as tongues. Praying in what? Tongues. Keep yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. And on some have compassion, making an extinction. But others save with fear, pulling them out of the fire, hating even the garment defiled by the flesh. Again, he's saying, most holy faith. It's called the power of faith. See, faith is, everybody, when people, Oh, yeah, I've got faith. But people don't realize that there is power in faith. There is power. And we've got to begin to recognize that faith has power. Amen? It's not just faith. A lot of people, yeah, I walk in faith. No, you don't. If you ain't overcoming, you ain't walking in faith. If you don't have the fruits and the works of faith, you're not walking in faith. In other words, it's power. Everyone say power. Ephesians 6.10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Well, what's the power of his might? you got to have faith. It's the power of faith that he's talking about. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having girded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, 
having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, hello, above all, taking the one shield of faith, that's the power of faith, with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. In other words, this is so powerful. He says, be strong in the Lord. No, be strong in the faith. Be strong in your belief and your connection to his words, to his presence, to his truth, which we call the anointing. Be strong in the anointing. You know, the, the anointing is activated by faith. Does everybody get it? The power of faith, building yourselves up. Amen. To overcome. The power of faith is the power of the shield. Your shield is faith. It's called the power of faith to quench all corruption and contaminating words that come against you. Does everybody get it? All thoughts. So that it's not penetrating you at all. Doesn't mean you won't hear it, but it won't affect you. Amen. And verse 17, and take up the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in tongues, in the spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance, supplication for all the saints. Again, the shield of faith is the power of faith. It's power. We can't just look at faith as someone that, of faith. but it's, it's, again, it's a third level, what I want to call a belief or what we call the third chamber, faith. It's power. Everything in the third chamber is power. It's kingly. It's authority. In Hebrews 11, verse 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. In other words, faith is the power to see the unseen. It's also to the power to bring the unseen things into the reality. So faith is the power to see the unseen and bring the unseen things into reality. It says, verse 2, for by it, the elders obtained a good testimony. By faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God so that the things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. Hello? By faith Abel offered to God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, through which he obtained witness that he was righteous. God testified of his gifts, and through it he being dead still speaks. In other words, by the power of faith, of obedience to God is counted as righteousness. You know, it takes power to overcome, to obey God. Amen? By faith, Enoch was taken away so that he did not see death and was not found because God had taken him. For before he had taken him, he had this testimony that he did what? Pleased God. By the power of faith, Enoch was able to resist the voice of the flesh and evil, pleasing God without po the power of faith, the third chamber, <laughs> or strong belief system in that, so that he could obey and follow, so that he could execute everything God asked him to do. It says here, but without faith it is impossible to please God, for he who comes to God must believe of, or uh, that he is a rewarder of those who diligently what? Seek him. The power of faith. Enoch was able to resist the voice of the flesh and the powers of darkness. And it says without faith, <laughs> without the power of faith, that, uh, which is the third cha chamber, belief can be nullified. The enemy will easily sway you. You will not be able to execute, you will not be able to follow, and you will not be able to please God. There will be no reward without faith. Amen? Hallelujah. It says, 
that uh, by faith uh, Noah, being divinely warned of all things not yet seen. Think about this. I mean, there's Noah out there, you know. God says, you know what, you need to build an ark. He didn't even know what an ark was. He had to explain it all to him. You got to remember, they didn't know what rain was. By faith, Noah, being divinely warned of the things not seen, <laughs> moved with godly fear because he believed God, prepared an ark for the saving of his household by which he condemned the world and became heir of righteousness, which is according to faith. Again, by the power of faith, Noah accepted and believed and was obedient to execute the commandments of God to build an ark of escape. There is power in faith. Does everybody get it? In 1 Timothy chapter 4. I've come across many people who say they're believers and they don't have faith. They say they do, but they don't have it. Their fruits don't show it. Their conduct doesn't show it. There's no power. No power in their life. Where there's no power, there's no faith. Amen? 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. Now the Spirit explicitly says that in the latter times, are we in the latter times? Some will depart from the, the faith, the power of faith, giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons. In other words, they say they are faith, but their shield is not preventing the corruptible voice and the fiery darts and the doctrines of demons and deceiving spirits that are speaking to them. Or that faith, that shield would be resisting them. Does everybody get it? Speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their own conscience seared with a hot iron. Forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from foods which God created to be received with thanksgiving by those who believe. Who what? Believe. Believe means to what? Follow. It's third, it's third chamber belief, third level of belief. It's called faith. And that know the truth. For every creature of God is good and nothing is to be refused if it is received with thanksgiving. For it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. If you instruct the brethren in these things, you will be a good minister of Jesus Christ. Nourish in the words of faith and of a good doctrine which you have carefully followed. But reject profane and old wise tale fables and, and exercise yourself toward godliness. For bodily exercise profits a little, but godliness is profitable profitable for all things, having promise of the life that now is and that which is to come. This is a faithful saying and worthy of what? All acceptance. For to this end we both labor and suffer reproach because we trust in the living God who is the Savior of all men, especially of those who believe. These things command and teach. Last days, many will depart from the power of faith in Christ, his words and his presence, into the power of self. Those that walk in the spirit, walk in the power of faith, these are called faithful. They're called what? Faithful. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 1. And I, brethren, when I came to you, did not come with excellence of speech or of wisdom, declaring to you the testimony of God. For I determined not to know anything among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. I was with you in weakness, in fear, and in much trembling. And my speech and my preaching were not with persuasive words of human wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power that your faith should not be in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Faith, in the power of God. Remember, faith activates the anointing. Galatians chapter 3. 
First ten. For as many as are of the works of the law are under the curse. For it is written, Curses everyone who does not continue in all that which is written in the book of the law to do them. But that no one is justified by the law in the sight of God is evident. For the just live by the power of faith. Does everybody get it? Yet the law is not of faith. Amen. The law is not of faith. But the man who does them shall live by them. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us. For it is written, Curses everyone who hangs on a tree. That the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles in Christ Jesus, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Wow. It says the just live by faith, the power of faith. Again, there was no power in the law. The law was known as a tutor. But the Spirit is now a mentor. Amen? The power and belief in following Christ. In Romans chapter 10, in verse 14. Now then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed. And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how should they hear without a preacher? And how should they preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who preach the gospel of peace, who bring glad tidings of good things. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah says, the Lord who has, who has believed our report. So then faith comes by what? Hearing, not listening. There's a difference. Hearing grabs hold of it and says, I'm going to use this. Listening just nods. Yeah, 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 yeah. But never really is intended. The intent of the heart in hearing puts it to use. The intent of the heart in listening will not. It's a wrong intention. Is everybody with me? It says, so then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. In other words, what is God saying? What's coming out of your mouth? But I say they have not heard. Yes, indeed. Their, their sound has gone out to all the earth, and their words to the ends of the world. Faith com comes by hearing the words of Jesus. <laughs> And watching the movie Chosen. Hallelujah. People get a lot of faith watching that movie. Come on. But don't make the excuse that you've just been watching Chosen all the time and not speaking the word, you know, and reading. You know. Hallelujah. De making decrees. Faith is power. Everyone say it with me. Faith is power. Philippians 3. The enemy likes to wear people down, get them discouraged so they don't walk in faith. They walk in the power of themselves. Hallelujah. Philippians 3. Verse 2, beware of dogs. Now, that's not barkers, okay? The word dog here means demonized individuals. Beware of dogs, beware of evil workers, beware of mutilation. For we are the circumcision. In other words, we are the circumcision means covenant. We have covenant with God. Who worship God in spirit. Rejoice in Christ Jesus and have no confidence in ourselves or the flesh. Though I also might have confidence in the flesh if anyone else thinks he may have confidence in the flesh. This is Paul. 
He says, I more so circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel, the tribe of Benjamin, the Hebrew of the Hebrews, concerning the law of Pharisee, concerning zeal, persecuting the church, concerning righteous, the righteousness which is in the law, blameless. But what things were gained to me, these I have counted laws for Christ. Yet indeed I also count all things lost for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ, Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and counted them as rubbish, that I may gain Christ and be found in him, not having my own righteousness, which is from the law, but that which is through faith, through faith, through the power of faith in Christ, the righteousness which is from God by faith that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering, being conformed to his death, if by any means I may attain to the resurrection from the dead, counting all things lost for the power of faith in Christ Jesus. We'll never look at faith the same way. Faith is power. Power. It's a third level of belief. It is in the third chamber of the tabernacle. It's kingship. Warrior. 2 Corinthians 4.13. And since we have the same spirit of faith, in other words, since we have the same spirit of the power of faith, according to what is written, I believed and therefore I spoke. We also believe and therefore what? Speak. Knowing that he who raised up the Lord Jesus will also raise us up with Jesus and will present us with you. For all things that are for your sakes, that grace having spread through the many may cause thanksgiving to abound to the glory of God. Therefore, we don't lose heart. Even though our outward man is, what, perishing, yet the inward man is being renewed day by day. By what? Faith. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, is working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. While we do not look at the things that are seen, but the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen are what? Eternal. Eternal. Remember, faith gives you the, the ability to see the unseen and to bring, bring what is unseen into reality. Hallelujah. Spirit of the power of faith believed and spoke. Faith sees the outcome. It sees the what? outcome. 1 John chapter 5 and verse 1. Whoever believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. And everyone who loves him, who begot also loves him, who is begotten of him. By this we know that we love the children of God when we Love God and keep his commandments. In other words, his requests. For this is the love of God that if we keep his commandments and his commandments are not burdensome. For whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. So there's power in faith. Who is he who overcomes the world but he who believes Hello, third chamber, third level belief, that Jesus is the Son of God. Power of faith to overcome the world. James chapter 5, verse 13. God is testing our faith to see if we are genuine. I always say, well, the we're generic, amen, or genetic. Let's speak it. Is any among you suffering? Let him what? Pray. Didn't say 
get on your cell phone and call somebody. Pray. Amen? Go to the throne before you go to the phone. <laughs> Pray. If anyone is cheerful, let him sing songs. If any among you is sick, let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save the sick, and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. Confess your trespasses to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The effect of fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. Elijah was a man with a nature like ours, and he prayed earnestly that it would not rain, and it did not rain on the land for three years and six months. And he prayed again, and the heavens gave rain, and the earth produced its fruit. Brethren, if anyone among you wanders from the truth, someone turns him back. Let him know that he who turns a sinner from the errors of his way will save a soul from death and cover a multitude of sins. And the prayer of faith will heal the sick. I'm going to close at this scripture because we want to anoint everyone's head. If you're sick in this house, I didn't say sick and tired, I said sick. We want to anoint you. And we're going to do a corporate prayer. And we're going to sing the song of Jesus, our healer. And by the power of faith. Come on, babe. I want you to write it. We believe in healing. It says you will recover and you will be healed. Let the power of faith be activated in your life tonight. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Sick, oppressed, whatever. Whatever's going on with you. Whatever label has been placed upon you by a doctor or by yourself or something that the anointing oil is right here it's on the table why huh you shouldn't be playing here hallelujah praise God So, if you want to be anointed, please stand. There's no sitting anointing. <laughs> Hallelujah. And prepare your hearts to receive. Believe. Amen. Receive and believe. So, Lord, we just give you glory, honor, and praise, and we thank you. Lord, you know everybody's needs here tonight. This was all your direction, Lord. We're submitting and obeying through the power of faith. Amen.